Yes, yes, welcome to another video, and it's the second part review of the Manchester Derby, which of course, if you've not already heard, City did win two goals to nil, and today we're going to focus on Kevin De Bruyne. Pep Guardiola said Kevin is back at his normal level, so we're going to discuss Kevin's form and uh, whether it is true that Kevin De Bruyne is back now. Before we do, guys, let's set a like target. Let's go for a thousand likes once again. We got very, very close yesterday. I checked it just now, bro. It was on 980, something like Ooh. that. So please give us a thumbs up and try and get to us, try and get us to a thousand it just helps other city fans find the channel uh, subscribe to us as well if you are new and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos or when we go live and finally just want to say massive thank you to the sponsor of today's video the guys at one football if you never heard of one football they've got an app that you can download it's completely for free and when you download it you select city as your favorite team or the club that you support and you'll get all your club's news straight to your phone uh, match news match reports uh, transfer news transfer rumors which is obviously going to start very soon given that we're approaching january and um, the best thing about it for me is in-game match stats, which I'm absolutely spamming at the moment. Actually, no lies. Go check it out. Links in the description. Completely for free. Um, right, bro. Kevin De Bruyne. I think we should probably start at, well, you know, the journey of Kevin De Bruyne this season. Because obviously... The good, the bad and the ugly, innit? <laughs> yeah, let, let's, let's look at how we've got to this position. Because obviously... We already know that Kevin ended last year with a bit of a niggle and yeah. he's had an injection, I think, before Belgium played Italy. Um, and he's come out subsequently and said, had I had known how bad my ankle would have been having played that game due to me having the uh, injection, he wouldn't have had the, uh, the, the injection. So it's obviously, he's been playing with this injury. The injury's ruined his ankle and it's taken a little bit of time for him to get back to his form. Do you think now that, that he's getting back there? Pep Guardiola seems to suggest he is. What, what, what are you thinking? Yeah, I think uh, I think it's only a matter of time before he gets back to his best. There's no way that this guy just be out of form forever and, he, and he's dashed. I've seen loads of people saying that he's passed it and that. Uh, but I, I don't think that's the case. His quality is 100% there. It's just, it's just his, I think this injury is what ruined it. I think it's made him more hesitant on the ball and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, but... Yeah, I think it's been weird. It's been a really weird kind of journey, this, because... I've never known whether we keep playing him and try and play him into form if he's fit or we take him out of the team for rest because he, do, he, do, he looks gassed all the time. And I was just a bit like, I don't know where, which way to go with this. And I don't, in, in fairness, I don't think Pep or the club knew either because he seems to have been out of the team for a bit, but he's fit. And then also there's been times where we're hamming him. Mm. But it seems to be that whatever's happening now, whichever way they've worked it, it seems to be working because he's looking looking like Kev again. So yesterday, I feel like he was a bit more reserved in, in the way he was, but he did everything really smartly and he, mm. he's looking a lot better. He wasn't losing the ball as much as what we've seen him do recently, but he's, he's definitely getting there to his best. Yeah. No, I, I would agree with that, man. I mean, the thing is, yeah, with, with Kevin... He does try them risky passes and stuff, and w when they don't come off, it can it can lead us to a bad situation. But what I actually... I tweeted this the other day, bro, and, and it's probably one of the best tweets I've ever done, I'm not going to lie. Um... And I put, look, if you don't want to play De Bruyne, just put him up front, you know what I mean? Yeah. And put Foden on the wing or drop Foden in the midfield or whatever. Because at the end of the day, Kevin De Bruyne is a dangerous player, as we all know. I shouldn't have to say that, but it, apparently I do these days. So if you really, really don't think he's at the races and you're worried about him playing, just put him up front. And I thought that's where he was going to play yesterday. However, he actually kind of played deep. We actually... Normally, obviously, we play with like a false nine, but yesterday we we didn't really play with any false. We didn't play with any. We just didn't have a striker. It was or just a false no one. Nine just no one up there. I don't know if Bernardo was meant to be the false nine, but he was playing very deep and then arriving in the box later on. Um, I initially thought that Kevin De Bruyne was going to play the striker position so, slash false nine, but he again was really really deep. So it was kind of a bit weird seeing seeing the formation. But the one thing that you get from Kev is control, and I remember maybe around like the seventy fifth to eighty to, to, to the end of the game. Whenever Kev got on the ball, I think he only played really like one pass that I can remember forward. And that was the one to Phil Foden where Phil Foden ended up cutting it, cutting it and it hit the post. Other than that, every time he got the ball, he was he was like really experienced. He was he was making sure that the passes was like 100% easy pass. You know what I mean? Just keep the ball, keep the ball, keep the well, ball. Every time he got it, you can see his body language because the way the way his body was facing was always towards our own net yeah and it seemed to be like you could tell he his his game plan in his head whether i don't know if it was a pet thing or it's his thing but he was very much in the situation of retain possession mm. keep passing the ball about because the time in the match i mean you were like oh we want another goal kind of i mean being greedy and that we want more goals against them mm. but um 
Kev was like, yeah, keep the ball, kept passing it back and that. We're like, forward, forward. But at that point, we'd already won the game. So Kev was being very professional and just mm. pretty much seeing it out. It's almost like Kev took control of that game and was like, this is how we're going to see out the rest of this match. Yeah, well, what I'd say as well, as I watched Match of the Day this morning, actually, and um, it was great to, to, to watch how hard the team works and stuff. But after the game, they asked Pep Guardiola, they said, um, you know, United come out in that second half and, and you know, they didn't really let them into the game. How, how do you do that? And, and Pep simply said, you can't do anything if you don't have the ball. And that is exactly right. City Truth. dominated. I think there was like a few moments during the second half where United had spells of possession. Yeah. They didn't really do anything. Other than that, we still absolutely dominated that football. They couldn't get the ball off us. And Pep's, Pep's thing was, keep the ball and they can't hurt you. And who is absolutely crucial to that? For me... It is Kevin De Bruyne because he was so experienced yesterday. He every time he got the ball, he was making passes and, and runs to 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 keep the ball. And sometimes, as fans, and we're guilty of this as well, we want more. We want three. We want four. We want five goals, and we want every pass to go forward. And sometimes it frustrates us a little bit. But Kevin De Bruyne does not care about that. the the main thing. Kevin wanted yesterday was the three points and to get the win, which is obviously his job. And that means when he got the ball, sometimes he didn't play that risky ball forward. He just passed it left, he passed it right in order for the team to retain possession, which suffocated United. I was looking at United yesterday. We on on, on like a, when I watched it back, I think honestly couldn't get out of the box. It was very, very similar to the Chelsea performance that yeah. where we battered them um, a couple of months ago. It was very, very similar to that. And Kevin De Bruyne is absolutely crucial, bro. There's actually, there's a video on Twitter um, going about of how we suffocate the team and keep United in their own half. And they, they just couldn't get out of it. I think they, what, it was like the build-up to what um, to when Eric Bayer scored the own goal. And it's it's crazy to see. It is crazy to see. But one one person that, like you say, one person that can translate what Pep wants to do in his head to the pitch is Kevin De Bruyne. Yeah. He'll control tempo. He'll be the exact way that Pep wants it to be. He's the perfect man for it. You and know, can I just interrupt you now, bro, and just say there's something that needs to happen now. It's the international break, yeah? You yeah. know what? I'm going to do a live thing, bro. I'm going to check now who the hell are Belgium playing because if they're not playing like big match is yeah then they need to rest Kev because yeah. and I know they'll be like oh well he's our player and that right I'm looking at it now yeah they're playing Estonia at home and then they're playing Wales away yeah I'm looking at that and I'm thinking do you really really need do, 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 they don't need Kevin for them games you know what I mean it's the World Cup qualifiers let me see where they are in the table as well bro because I think the top Oh my God, they're on 16 points. Czech Republic are second with 11 and Belgium have a game in hand. You know what? See, it's, it's, it's overkill. It's proper overkill. But the thing is, it's what really annoys me about uh, internationals is, is it Roberto Martinez, the manager? Yeah. He does not care about club football. He does not care about club football no, at all. No, it's not about club football, but it's about Kevin De Bruyne yeah. not being injured not all the time. Not being injured, yeah. And... I, I, if I'm City, I'm ringing him up saying, look, you don't need him for these games. You're already through anyway. You've already qualified. Kevin, yes, he is he is back. But what we think now is Kevin is a rest man. And what that will mean is that when Belgium come, because I think the next international break's in March, by the time we get to March, you can have Kevin then fit and, and proper fit. Because now, yeah, he's back to his top level. But, you know what I mean? It's been one game, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. It would be nice of Belgium to not play Kev. I don't think he's needed. Obviously, they're within the right to play and they don't have to not play him. But I think that they should really look at... OK, even if they have to play him, get him subbed off after an hour. Don't play him for the full 90 minutes in games that you don't need to. And then he can come back to City fit, fresh, rested. He can go again. And then you can have him in March, you know what I mean, for the full thing. So, I don't know. Bro, don't be greedy, to, in it. <laughs> to finish the game, yeah, to finish the video, is Kevin De Bruyne... Back because Pep Guardiola suggested yesterday that he's back to his normal levels. Do you agree? Uh, it's been one game, and as well, if I say he's back, I feel like I'm doing Kevin a disservice because of how good he is. I think Kev. I think so. So you're disagreeing with Pep Guardiola, bro? Yeah, you're yeah. saying Pep Guardiola is a liar. He's like, why are you lying for? <laughs> isn't it? Uh, basically, I'm saying. Kev might be back to his normal, like normal level. Do you know what I mean? But I still think there's more to come from Kevin O'Brien. Oh, nicely put, bro. Nicely put. Right, yeah. Um. I, I, I would I would agree actually. I'll just try to murk you. Um yeah, I would agree. I, I think that look, it was promising from what we saw from Kevin De Bruyne. I do think he's got more in the tank, but if he can play at that level every week, then 
<laughs> easy wins. We're, we're cruising. Let us know your thoughts anyway in the comment section below. Do you think Kevin De Bruyne is back? Do you still think there's... Because there's, I've seen some people saying that, nah, he was still pretty off, but I thought he was decent yesterday, yeah, I he was man. Good. So let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Um, go check out One Football, completely free app to download. You download it, you help support the channel, and it is, it's free and it's a mega app. Go check it out, link in the description. Uh, give the video a like, a thousand is the target. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And tomorrow, guys, we're going to do a special on Mr. Bernardo Silva. He's the best in the world. See you later.